Cubbies. Cubbies are on we, the West Coast tonight. All right. All right. Well, we did not get the uh, and we didn't get the fade out, but we did not get the. Animation. Oh, we don't need no fade out. We'll we'll create our own fade out. Oh, sorry. I should go. The oh, audience. Yeah. The audience is going to be the only fade out this time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we might fade out from heat stroke, Gene. Yeah. Uh, hey, summer's this- here. Fast approaching. Nothing like what they went through in the Midwest and uh, East Coast. Wow. We never get that out here, but that was a tough one. So congratulations if you survived all that. I survived a night with Hugh Jackman. I said, You know Hugh Jackman, Wolverine? Yeah, I'm aware. He does a song and dance show. Fantastic. And I saw Queen, too, this week. Pretty exciting, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's uh, all right. So, all right, let's let's break that down because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Because oh, Hugh Jackman, what, he uh, did, Hugh Jackman. He he's a he's on tour, song and dance. He's doing Broadway songs, tap dance, plays the drums, tells stories about being Wolverine. Fantastic. <laughs> he sold out two nights at the Hollywood Bowl, which is eighteen thousand seats. So there's quite a demand for him. That's pretty good. Yeah, it was did it he, was did, awesome. Did he go chink? Yeah, he did a lot of costume. What? That that's where the uh, that's the famous sound. Oh, where Wolverine's uh, yes, he blades did, come out. He did he did that with drumsticks. Did, did, Pretty great. Did some people come out and start attacking him? And did uh, some... no. He had he had some singers come out, but they didn't attack him. He brought he brought some guys, two guys up from the outback who played these. I don't know what they are like long horns. And he and he brought in the leader of the Aboriginal people, whatever Aborigines. And, yeah, because yeah. he's, he's Australian, right? Yeah, and yeah, he's from Australia. I don't know. They're, they, I guess they were. Mis- <laughs> they've been mistreated over the years. Uh, so let's bring him. Least. Well, let's bring him out to the uh, L.A. crowd. And he apologized Bowl. for Australia Jesus. the way they treated I, Gene, him. I'm getting enough guilt over this reparation bullshit. <laughs> My family didn't come here until 1900. Now I got to worry about Aborigines. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, I guess just white guilt, just everywhere, right? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's your those people's bloods on your hand, Gene. That's it. Well, I had nothing to do with it, but he he found. Did it. you, Gene? I I don't. But you're think a part so. of the system. Gene. But he found it necessary to apologize on the behalf of. Uh, yeah. Well, was sorry. Yahoo? How would oh, you apologize? How would you apologize for Yahoo Serious? How about I know. that? That was supposed to be a big deal. Remember that Yahoo Serious? Young Cobra Einstein. Guy. Yeah, young. I saw that. Movie. How about how about the uh, the plot idea that he created uh, bubbles and beer. Oh, huh? how about that? Is that what the plot was? Well, part of it was that uh, he I used forget. relativity to uh, create bubbles and beer. That's oh, the one thing I remember about okay. that movie. I remember I saw it when it opened, and uh, I was like, "Wow, what and was also, all the fuss about?" He stopped a atomic bomb by playing the electric guitar. Yeah, right. Yeah. Gee, yeah. talk talk about uh, appropriation. Let's get uh, d- Jimmy. Uh, what's it called? Jimi Hendrix up there, huh? Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty great. He did that. And then I saw a queen with Adam Lambert and it was okay. So and Lambert saw, and the uh, Hugh Jackman on the stage together. They could have been. Oh no. They the, could the have band, been the band queen. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant queen Hugh was Jackson. Friday yeah. night and it was Brian May's 72nd birthday, their guitar player. And wow. What a show that was. Fantastic. <laughs> oh my gosh. I bet. I bet you're like, man, I could play the guitar better than this. I don't guy. think so. No, Brian May's great. And they did a tribute to Freddie Mercury. They, they, they had to do an extended break so he could take his arthritis medicine. <laughs> um, him and him and Roger Taylor. Roger Taylor is a drummer. They're both original members. So they, uh, yeah, they're both in their seventies. Did, did but... Sasha Baron Cohen? Did he no, show up or he, uh, I, he Malik? Been, he might have Rami been, Malik. Rami is that Malik? his name? Oh, he. I bet he was there some night because there. I think it was a big a, a big celebrity turnout, but uh, they did. He didn't bring Rami Malek up. On, oh, he should have brought him up on stage and tried to make him sing. Yeah, no way. Am Levine Say, does earn, that, right? Yeah, earn this Oscar, Rami. Did Did he win an Oscar for that? Yes, <sighs> he didn't sing. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Well. Uh. All right, that's that's how clueless I am. Uh, I have yeah. no idea who won the best picture. All right, well, Gene, uh, yeah. this is the Midwest Sports Show. Oh, that was my weekend. And uh, very exciting. We always start off with uh, the musical uh, components oh, of the yeah. show. Oh, yeah, next beginning. week I'm seeing Miss Saigon and Into the Woods, two Broadway uh, My shows. mom was uh, Into the Woods. Was oh, was in she? the play Into the Woods back in the day in lacrosse she was. community service. Oh, well, they're doing it. I bet I know a lot of songs, actually. I It's Stephen Sondheim. I don't know much about it, but they're doing they're going to perform it as a full musical on stage at the Hollywood Bowl. So that's pretty yeah, exciting. Yeah. All right, so my name is uh, Christos. Oh, yeah. And then, you... uh, that's Gene Steichen. Hello. 
Can you remember the Tonight Show where they won't announce uh, Johnny Carson until like five minutes into the broadcast? Yes. We're, we're doing the same thing here. Oh, okay. Same thing here, yep. Yeah. And uh, Gene, since we're talking about Broadway and off-Broadway. I love Broadway. Uh, how about that Cats trailer, huh? I, I, I'm I very excited. I just saw Cats twice. I loved it so much. You paid, it, paid $170 each time. Oh, you could pay yeah, 24 probably. and see it in IMAX. Oh, it's going to... Judy... De- Ma- Sir Judy Dench. What do they call her? Madam? Uh, when, the, when they knight the woman? Madame. Dame, Dame. Dame. Dame Judy Dench. She's in it. Oh, she, Taylor Swift. Oof. What cat does she play? <laughs> I don't know. The old... Something. <laughs> the old flea bag? <laughs> I don't know. I, Jesus. Who wants is, to see her in cat makeup? I'm telling you, this is going to be so... By the way, I, it, I, it must be pretty sweet just being uh, Judy Dench. Yeah. I mean, if you have a movie with an old English lady, get Judy Dench on the right, phone. Right. Either her or what's the other? Uh, oh, what's the uh, other? yeah, I know who you're talking She's about. She's in that it. movie with uh, Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren, there you yeah, go. Yeah, those two. Either her or do you want a skinny chick? Yeah. Or a plump, plump chick, grandma? I don't think, well, that's really mm, question. Take your choice. Your Take your choice. Hey, did you ever see Cats, though? No, I I not. saw it. I saw it recently. Came to L.A. and I I saw it immediately again. And you oh, loved it so, so much. You you had yourself spayed. I hey, I would, <laughs> I would for them. Sure, why not? I've never. We've had a cat. My mom. Well, Gina, apparently cat. now I, I've I've read some articles uh, that have been inspired by this cat's trailer. Oh, okay. Apparently this mo- Apparently there was like a uh, you know the Android Lloyd Webber play. Yeah. They recorded it. And uh, releasing on VHS, and apparently people were able to see it this way. Oh. Apparently, there are a number of people from my generation that watched this and either became A, gay, oh, and or B, furries. Oh, the so, furry phrase, yeah. I mean, I, I, again, you know, this her, this whole furry thing. Right, I mean, right. I, I think you know the Sonic the Hedgehog. And uh, you know all these these P- Detective Pikachu movies where they got yeah. uh, anamorphic uh, animals talking right, right. and looking sexy and all that stuff. Uh, is Hollywood trying to turn all the kids into furries, Gene? Yes. Is that what's going on? Yes, I believe so. Furries. Wow. Trump is a furry, isn't he? A <laughs> bit of a furry. Who uh, knows what goes on in no. his private life? He. I bet it's somewhat sordid. Not to speak out of turn. He's probably he probably noticed some sexy cats in his life. <laughs> yeah, some sexy yeah. felines. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, Gene, this is not uh, oh, yeah. sexual Broadway. kink. Sexual oh, yeah. kink or show. Broadway today. Yeah, or Broadway today. This is uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Okay. And we have quite a bit to talk about, including the Packers, mm. the Cubs, and the Brewers. Wow. So we're uh, changing it up quite a bit. Okay. All right. This and not be, not yeah. only that, uh, we got the worst state of the week this week. Oh, boy. And uh, we're having some fun with that. Who is it going to be? I. It's not you're Iowa. Gonna, you, you're going to have to listen to the end of the show. Oh, okay. I don't know either. That's called I'm a trying... teaser, Gene. Okay. It's a teaser. Wow. And, Gene, if you, don't, uh, if you haven't noticed, yes. uh, we are on live location at one of the uh, oh. illegal immigrants internment camps. Oh, our- uh, on the border. I'm not sure if we're in Arizona or Texas. I'm not wow. sure where this stuff is happening. But uh, we got an invitation from, speaking of Trump, mm-hmm. we got an invitation from the Trump administration to come down and look at these uh, these, these uh, cells, these cages. That they show that the illegal, illegal, illegal immigrants are here. Oh. They got it. And That's- just to show that, uh, you know, everyone's fine. Everything yeah. Everything's fine, guys. Did you see him? They took the press in there. Oh, my gosh. It's a mess. Well, uh, they must have sanitized the area because everything looks good here. Uh, yeah. We just got a, you know, what do you call it, a um, chain link fence. I see. It seems like a lot of people on right. sleeping bags. Right. So, uh, Gene, remember in high school when you guys had a all nighter and you guys locked the doors? Oh, yeah. Same thing. Okay. Same thing, except for it's uh, mm-hmm. it's indefinite mm-hmm. and uh, no toothpaste and no soap. So oh. uh, basically the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. Uh, kind of a PR hit for the. Country. How about this? Yes. How about this? Uh, uh, what do you call? Is it the CDC? No, no, no. What's it called? The uh, ICE. Oh, ICE. E- ICE. Illegal yeah. Commission of Immigration. I don't know what it's called. That would not work. How about uh, we do this? How about yeah. immigration? Uh, how about LA? Right. You know, LA is one of these sanctuary cities. Apparently, that's what oh, I'm being okay. told. Okay. I guess Trump repeats it enough times so that it's true. I, I don't know. I never took a vote on this. How about this? Uh, every uh, illegal immigrant in these cages. Mm-hmm. Let's trade them for a homeless person in LA. Wow. Right, so yeah. I'll get I'll get Pablo. I'll gladly accept Pablo on my block. Right, you guys can uh, take. 
I won't say Tyrone, but that's probably too right. that's probably too on the nose. That that yeah. It's probably too on the nose. Uh, like, like, the the like crackhead your... down the block. And right. I tell you what, uh whatever those homeless guys are sleeping at, that cage is a definitely upgrade. Yeah. All right. Hey, some of these uh tents you see around LA, they are they're the size of a studio apartment almost. They're big. Some of them are huge. Bigger than my bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're know. these uh these extended campers. Remember yeah. uh, again, Jim, remember when you were a kid? And you, your tent had one pole. Yes. And then, uh, right. you know, three things going off it, whatever, four things. Now, now, the, now these tents have garages, Gene. Oh, my gosh. Some of them are so it's big. Crazy. There's a guy set up a tent on my street because there's a patch of grass at the intersection. <laughs> he set up a huge tent. He's got a chair outside there, a rocking chair. He's got a sign. He's got – it's like a little apartment right on our he's, street. He's camping. So, he's yeah. camping. Yep. So oh, wh- why go to you sending me when you just go to uh, Franklin Boulevard? Yeah, it's uh, Franklin. Is it Franklin yeah. Avenue? Yeah. I don't know what what's the street name. All right, well, Gene, we let's. Uh, oh, okay. Come. You know, let, let's stick to sports, Gene. Sure. We don't need to uh, all right. get all political on the show. People do not come here for our politics. Let's unite. <laughs> let's unite over the 100 years of the Green Bay Packers. Oh, even though last year was weird because. Last year, they celebrated their 100th year, even though this is the year. But last year, they wanted to be one year ahead wasn't of the, the rest Bears? of the league. Yeah, or against someone? the Bears. No, wasn't it the Bears that was 100 years? Because I don't remember this 100. Why would they be doing Oh, oh. no, they celebrated. They Remember that? Uh, yeah, they, they had. They, uh, yeah, last year, the Packers celebrated 100 years. But All they're right. doing it again this year, Maybe because. So. Uh, Marketing. Maybe it's the 101st year. Yeah, exactly. Like well, uh, Gene, uh, you know, you missed the shareholders meeting oh, last week. Have, yeah, I was invited. I voted. I voted. So uh, I voted to keep the board. What, you, so. you, you voted for uh, chocolate soft serve that they would serve <laughs> during the <laughs> they lunch? They don't yet? give you a lot of options. They said, this is the board. Would you like to uh, approve them? I said, all right, why not? Yeah, your, yeah. your vote is non, non-binding. has yeah. no effect. Uh, um, caveat. Mm. Um, well, Gene, uh, hopefully you won't miss this. Mm. Uh, the Packers will be celebrating their birthday on August 11th with a free birthday event in the Lambeau Field Atrium, lasting from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm. So uh, plenty of time to tailgate and get uh, nice and rowdy. And, Gene, if you're going to miss it, uh, you're going to miss this. They're distributing 5,000 pa- pouches of <laughs> seeds. Oh, of their grass? Of Lambeau grass. Yeah. Curly Lambeau grass. He was a botanist, did you oh know? Oh, my gosh. I didn't know By that. the way, if you no. just go over to Ashwabadon. Which is right across just, the street. Just, just grab some grass over there. I'm pretty sure Pretty sure there's some cross-pollination going on. Yeah. So I'm, not, I'm sure you're not getting 100% curly grass, Lambeau grass. A um, hundred of them, a hundred of these uh, bags of seeds, Gene. Yeah. Uh, are going to be autographed by players, including... Uh-oh. Aaron Rodgers. Yes. Devontae Adams. Okay. Kenny Clark. Yes. Jair Alexander. Okay. And Blake Martinez. All righty. That kind of each name further devalued the whole gift, didn't it? Gene, how would you feel if you got a uh, bag of seeds autographed by Blake Martinez? <laughs> I think I'd be how much, okay. How much would that go on eBay? I don't know. 50 cents? 75? No, uh, cost of shipping. <laughs> Uh, not only that, but uh, head coach Matt LaFleur is going to sign it. And uh, GM Brian Gutekunst, Gutekunst, mm. Gutekunst, or team president Mark Murphy. Mm. Great. Nice. I would love a bag of seeds signed by Mark Murphy. Yeah. Um, I would uh, not trade those seeds. I would wait until they developed and uh, cut those seeds when they actually ask for more, when they're eligible for more money. That's what I would do. Uh, and if for some reason they run out, they'll help le- happily sell you for five dollars a pack, with proceeds going to American Red Cross. And there's a contest for more seeds autographed by Rogers. Wow! There you go. So that's that's the key. Let me ask you something, Gene. Uh, yes. Imagine you're a Rod. You're the greatest quarterback of all time. Okay. Uh, you can throw the ball eighty yards, yeah. uh, opposite direction. You've won the Super Bowl. And the 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 PR guy dumps a bunch of grass seeds on your uh, desk. Say, hey, sign this. How, how would you feel, Jim? A little disrespected, maybe? Mm, yeah, little, maybe. Yeah. Like you got better things to do? Right. Uh, uh, like where's your cut? Right. Exactly. Literally, where's your cut of the grass? Oh, I see what you're going there. Cut of the grass. Yep. Yeah. 
And uh, Gene, how about Vince Lombardi? Well, mm. What would he think of this? Remember all those uh, great Vince Lombardi quotes about the uh, Lambo grass? <laughs> yeah, I read his book. I don't. I, I'd have no to, no, no chapter a, on grass, Gene. I don't think so. I but turn I'd, myself down. I'd have to uh, go back no? and look, but maybe. All right, I'm not sure. And Gene, uh, I, yeah. I got a couple more jokes here, Gene. Oh, we're not, okay. we're not finished. Well, don't stop then. Yeah. All right, fans are expected to put the dirt. Oh, here we go. Fans are expected to put dirt in a styrofoam cup and watch the grass grow. Wow. Remember, remember that in uh, science class? Yes, absolutely. In third grade. Yep. How about this, Gene? How about you? You heard of a chi, chi, chia pet? Yes, I have. How about a chia farf? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. What else you got? You, you got a, you got a brown head of bright farf, and you slather it with uh, Lambo grass and watch it grow. <laughs> yep. Well, All right. but, gee, what was chia? Is it like an herb or something like that? It was, yeah. Well, it was beans. I I always think they're kind of weird. Kind of creepy. It was just so it was it was that crappy more. grass that looked like four yeah. leaf clovers, right? I don't need a a lamb that grows grass. I don't need never needed that. Remember uh remember Gregor Mendel doing all those uh, genetic studies on chia grass? Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're going deep today. Was that a deep Nazi grass. scientist? No. Mandel, he he's the modern day of genetics. Oh, I see. Okay, I guess you All don't right. remember third grade uh, <laughs> science class. Okay, yeah, you were out that day. Okay. All right, we got some other uh, preseason Packers news. Houston Texas players will ride. Bu- they're going to be practicing against the Houston yeah. Texans, and the Texans have been invited to ride bicycles along with the Packers. Oh, okay. When the that's teams practice cool. together in Green Bay, the Packers. That's a great thing they do. That's how you build future fans. Packers president Mark Murphy said all the kids should come out. And help push J.J. Watt to the field because he has another torn groin mm. muscle. Hmm. So help an old guy get to the right, get to right. get to the field, kids. Hey, J.J. Watt from last the show. week, last year he didn't miss any games, so he was pretty good last year. Did he, did he not miss any? Games? I don't think so. I heard that the other day. Okay. I'll just base, yeah trust whoever I heard from. All right, and that's the uh, that's the Packers news. All right, you? hey, ticket price is still for the opener. Wow, four hundred dollars cheapest ticket. Jesus, sell. I, uh, is it, that's in Lambo. No, it's at Soldier Field, September fifth. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's what yeah. I'm at Soldier Field. Yeah. Well, Gene, you know what you could do? Uh, go with Barry Sanders. <laughs> well, that that's possible, but there's actually a story on Deadspin today about uh, this kid who. Uh, oh, was I a, saw that that Warriors kid. He was a Warriors fan. What he would do, he was get the cheapest possible ticket for the Warrior games, wow. which was pretty much a uh, general admission, like right. standing room only. And he would uh, d- download what a like a courtside ticket would look like. Yep. yep. And then he would basically scan the, the 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 cheap ticket, and then walk to courtside and show the ushers his uh, internet fake Man. ticket. And uh, no one actually checked his ticket. So he got to see 20, I think 23 That's or 28. Amazing. Yeah, because you can check which seats are, court are side, unoccupied. Court, and he said one guy didn't right, have right. season tickets, hey. only went to four games. Yeah. And that's a Golden State Warriors team. I know. Game. If where I, those tickets are like 1000 bucks. at I least, would need, right? I would need two so I could take my pal Mark. Mark Faust yep. there. Hello. Uh, yeah, I don't think he moved to L.A., so he won't be doing it anymore. Well, Gene, if, if, you, if, you, if you walked up with all your Cubs gear, I'm pretty sure they would be like, uh, excuse me, sir, let me scan your ticket. You There's don't, you don't no, belong here. The Cubs, they're very strict. Yeah, yeah, they. I uh, I always get good seats anyway, but you can't get close to the field. They're, those, and they usually you can't have do that in other sports? I, you sure can at Wrigley, well, or you can't do it at the Hollywood Bowl. They're not anyway. going to do it anymore. You just, yeah. the, the story's going to go everywhere. Every, every uh, you know. Every team is going to be forwarding that story to their yeah. uh, security, to the rushers. Yeah. Yep. N- nice and way to ruin it for us, buddy. Yeah, dude. Another Golden State Warrior fan. Just because you don't everything. live there anymore. Yeah, I moved to LA, by the way. We should try to get him on the show. Okay. All right. Um. All right. So twenty years, Gene. Did you know? Did you realize? God, twenty years ago, that Barry Barry Sanders, Barry Sanders retired. I did know that because it's been a big story all day. <laughs> But outside of that, I would have said if you would ask me, I go, oh, I don't know, twelve years ago. I, I, it's amazing, it's been that long. Yep. And the Lions, what another? They ruined another great career, and they, they, uh, because the fans. If you're a fan, you don't like when your star play. If the Cubs <laughs> would have forced Ernie Banks or Billy Williams into <laughs> retirement too soon, you, you would you be a Cubs fan still? I don't think so. If they would have, if they would have messed with Ron Sano. 
Forget it. How, how about Sandberg, huh? Oh, my God. What if Sandberg uh, yeah. faxed the Wichita press and right. uh, said I retire? Yeah. You'd not be so happy, right? No. Uh, so anyways, yeah, Barry Sanders retired 20 years ago, and the Detroit Free Press had a pretty long story about uh, kind of what happened. And uh, most people in the media had no idea it was going to go down, but it uh, seems like a lot of people that are close to uh, Barry Sanders knew that he was uh, pretty much out of the game and retiring right, at right. that point. So, yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah, that, at least he's coming back now, isn't he? He's kind of around the line somewhat. I guess so. Um, I don't know. He's trying to get that bonus. He's trying yeah. to get that signing oh, bonus well, back. We didn't uh, even talk about that, by the way. Uh, Calvin Johnson. He, well, they, Barry took, they, they went after Barry Sanders' oh, signing yeah. bonus too, right? Yeah, I think so. And I, I forgot this, but they went to the playoffs that very next season without him. Oh, I didn't know that. So, yeah, uh, yeah U- Ewing theory. He was there with, with Wayne Farad, Font. Remember Wayne Font? What a what a disapp- boy those teams. They had some decent teams, but they never did anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, they were against the 49ers and the Cowboys back in the day, and yeah. that's you know that's when the salary cap did not exist. Right. And you think the Fords are gonna? They're they're building Tauruses. Do you think they're gonna put money into the Detroit Lions? I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. Um, and also, people were saying that uh, it was the offensive coordinator for the uh, Lions that pretty much took his life away. Barry Sanders, you know, playing life away because I guess they had four running plays only. Oh, Ooh. four running plays. Yeah, that doesn't seem like much, does it? Now, yeah. Mm. Where's the uh, Y two banana on that one, huh? Gruden, Spider two banana, right? Doesn't he always say yeah. that? Yeah. Remember? Who knows? It's a, yeah. You say he said on Monday Night Football. Yeah. Who knows? It's Spider two thing. banana or yeah. whatever. Okay. All right, there you go, Barry Sanders. We'll be missed, Barry. Bye, You'll be missed. You still are missed. All right, and then uh, you know I, 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 we don't need to go into these uh, suspensions, but uh, because it happened to a Viking, I thought I would bring it oh. up. Oh, uh, the NFL, and by the way, they released all these suspensions on a Friday afternoon. News uh, now. Uh, NFL suspended Vikings Rock Thompson Thomas. I'm sorry, Rock Thomas, three games for violating the policy on substances of abuse. Hmm. Rock Thomas, Gene. Hmm. I yeah, Rock. This, uh, right. Gene, that was my favorite show on Fox in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad he's playing. Okay? Right. Yeah. By the way, Charles hey. Dunn is dead, right? Uh, I know who you're talking. About. I don't think so. I'm gonna say no. Uh, the black guy, the actor. <laughs> Rock, the Rock. Remember Rock? Oh. Remember yeah. Rock? Not the Rock, not Dwayne Johnson, but uh. remember Rock that. The TV show on Fox back in oh, the day. Oh, Rock. Yeah. Mm. He was like a bald guy. He was an Alien 3. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, Gene. Okay. Yeah. I, you don't watch those type of movies, huh? <laughs> you don't watch those type of yeah. movies. Yeah. Anyways, he, uh, one of the few actors that I know got work after he killed someone. He killed someone, right? Oh. I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Gene. This is, uh, this is just like Ed McMahon. <laughs> On the heyday of the Tonight Show, uh, I, I'm t- I'll, I'll catch up later. Just uh, yeah, you, uh, but I believe- Gene, watch Gene. Go ahead and watch the show later tonight, and then uh, we'll talk next week about What's this it segment. Called? Rock, Rock. It's just called Rock. The show was called Rock. I don't think so. It was Charles. It was like a black. You know, it was like a ghetto Cosby, not ghetto, but it was like yeah, a family that was like poor black. Oh, family. Chris Rock show? No, no. Okay, all right. I don't know. All right. He had a sitcom, didn't he? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, everyone hates Chris. Or oh yeah, that's it. right. Okay, right. I'm. I do not know. So, <laughs> I, I'll right. come up with it later. And then Gene, there was uh, some more details about the infamous Khalil Mack trade from oh, last year. Right. That the and Packers. The Packers were uh, far into it. And, right. And uh, Mike Murphy was asked about it, and his quote as well: "The whole Khalil Mack thing. It's not that we didn't try." Murphy said, "We were aggressive." Yeah, we wanted to sign him. I think, ironically, right. the, the Raiders took the Bears' offer because they thought they would be a better draft pick. Oh my gosh! Another Gruden mess. Who? I mean, y- well, you're trading the best player in the league. Yes, on defense, right? And you're hoping oh. the other team gets a it gets a number five pick. That's I mean, how does a, that you know work? What? That's a great point because you're making the other team an awful lot better. Yeah. I mean, even if the uh, Bears don't score any points, which they didn't, they didn't. They they're they still going to win at least eight games. They got to they got to be a Mack, lot right? better this year on offense, or it could spell trouble. 
With the capital T. You know how else you spell with the capital T? Who? Trubisky. <laughs> he, some, he, he's kind of a favorite on the MVP. I mean, his odds are very high, but a lot of people bet on him because they seem like. I know, can see that. I mean, if he rushes for 20 touchdowns and throws for 20, I mean, I can see that for sure. Mm, that so. might be tough That's on a 16-game season. Yeah, but. no. T- t- rushing for 20 TDs and throws for 10? He's not going to rush good. for 20. They don't do a quarterback sneak. Not Nagy. He may get two. Gene, do you think Trubisky knows the playbook? Yeah, now he does. He's <laughs> dedicated. Yeah. All right, mm-hmm. All right Gene, we're going to uh, shift over to the uh, baseball I watched the league. Cubs. They had a decent week. What do you mean? They, they won like seven won, games in a row, right? Or won, something like that? Yeah, they went seven and two on their homestand. They won, but they played crappy teams and now they got gone they they haven't not oh no i'm optimistic but the cubs have not proved their worth on the road so you you just saw them destroy the reds uh, and they beat the pirates right three out of four no, or they, was it? they swept the pirates okay. they beat reds two out of three and san diego two out of three and that, that was enough for you yeah you didn't like the way they uh, played not great they who, weren't that great who, who are you bill Belichick? <laughs> yeah all of a sudden I, I am. I'm telling you, they weren't that great. And this is their true test because they're going on the road for nine games: San Francisco, St. Louis, and Milwaukee. Milwaukee first, but that's going to be now. Okay, if they go seven and two on the road trip, okay. Now you showed me something there, Cubs. So did Manny Machado do anything uh, yeah. despicable during the series? No, he uh, here, he had a couple. Here. He didn't really impact the series at all, but he was okay. I Qu- think quiet and easily forgotten, kind of like his career. Yeah, I mean he was good. But whatever, who cares? They're, they Padres suck. Man, who would have thought that uh, Yasiel Puig would have been a scarier player yeah. for the Cubs and Brewers than uh, Machado? Yeah, and, and Machado, good, welcome to the rest of your life. <laughs> Oblivion in San Diego. All right? Enjoy the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Cause there's... Enjoy the beach, asshole. Yeah. Okay. All right, so they're playing the Giants. Giants are not bad, by the way. Yeah, I know. They're playing really well. They're playing well. Not, people are even saying they might not trade uh, Bumgarner. Because, well, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, Bumgarner starts against the Cubs, and, and that would be his last start if he gets traded. Boy, but, Bumgarner and Darvish, uh, duel of aces, huh? Oh, they're not going to trade him. The Cubs won't get him. But yeah, because I know they have no money. That's why. Yeah. And well, hey, has has the Ricketts uh, found another uh, tax evasion scheme? They might I be able to think so. They now might that, be able to find forty million. Hey, for, that's uh, the other brother. Bumgarner. Tom Ricketts, who runs the Cubs, he's on the up and up. <laughs> yeah. I think. I hope. Yeah, let's check his tax returns. Yeah. All right, and then uh, so yeah, they play the. They, uh, their Cubs are good, but this is where a uh, shift could happen. The Brewers are at home, uh, yeah, then, and then the then Cubs they're, they're are off the Thursday, road. and then we got a weekend series with the Cubs. Brewers at yeah. home. So yeah, all right. So right now the Cubs are two games above the Brewers. Neither team has finished their game yet. Uh, yeah. Brewers are oh no. I'm right just now. I, the, I the Cubs got to be better on the. They've been bad on the road all year, so. Uh, hopefully though, it, yeah, they play good on the road. Yeah, let's. I mean, let's go. <laughs> I, I've watched every game. They uh, haven't been great though, but they're okay. But they're not. Mm. Kyle Schwarber hit a uh, walk off yeah. home run the other day. Yeah, Tuesday or when Tuesday, Tuesday did. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, that was go. exciting. But you need to walk off against Cincinnati. Uh, the tenth inning. Yeah. Look at it. Eric Thames is serving beer and uh, Ben Gamble. They're That's sh- great. They're That's showing how highlights you build, of the uh, yeah the Brewers. That's how you build customer relations. You get the I guess so. Yeah. Well, hey Eric, uh, how about you put a uh, beard thing on your goddamn beard? I don't want any of your beard hairs mm. in my uh, Miller Lite, huh? How about that? Yeah. Beard guard. Are the Brewers? Their bullpens having a hard All time. Right. Well, we're going to the Brewers real quick. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so they uh, not have a great. Couple of games, but they've uh, been playing much better. Uh, they won three out of four against uh, the Diamondbacks. That's which pretty, is a pretty impressive because that's that Arizona. That can be tough to play, and they're decent. They're pretty. But you have four game series. I mean, yeah. you, you think they'd split, and they beat. Uh, well, they didn't beat Granky, but uh, they beat the. They won the game that Granky was <laughs> pitching in. Sorry, and uh, yeah, they the won. Sneeze button. They won two out of three against uh, the. What do you call it? Freddie Freeman and the Atlanta Braves. That's impressive too. So see? that's pretty good. Yeah. And Christian Yelich hit a grand slam mm. during that Braves uh, series. And uh, Saladano hit a grand slam uh, yesterday. There you go. Against, uh, who are they playing again? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, the Diamondbacks. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, this, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I, the Cubs, they got to do, they got to go on the road and play like that. Well, but- Keston, K- Keston Hera, that, uh, that rookie, 
he's just lighting it up. He's batting like 328 or something like that. I don't mm-hmm. care about averages. I don't know what his OPS is, but uh, he's good. He's he, I, I'll guarantee you he'll get like 10 hits against the Cubs this weekend. Yeah, so I you, know. You, you don't know his name now? Yeah. You will by next week, Gene. The good thing is the Cubs have so many fans on the road that it <laughs> never feels like a road game. But they've had fans all year, and they haven't played well. Good thing is the uh, Milwaukee Brewers fans are going to oh, upcharge. Oh, weekend. Oh, Upcharge right. the, yeah. the Cubs. Those games. Make a nice now, profit. This, this weekend, all three of those games should be sold out. And I bet they will be. It'll yep, be, it'll probably be will. a great atmosphere. Milwaukee's awesome. It's should such a fun. great city. It's really fun. It is. All right, Gene, and now we uh, have gotten to the final portion of our, mm. uh, our show. Well, hopefully, I don't know if anything happened in Iowa bad, so I'm going to rule out Iowa. Illinois is always on the corruption uptick. So. Well, Illinois is always the worst day of the week. All we have to do is talk about right. tolls for uh, 10 yeah. minutes. Oh. Yeah. How it's about this? amazing how much you pay in tolls in Illinois. Uh I don't know. Okay. But it goes somewhere. I guess it I bet, goes I bet the Ricks are like, man, is there some way we right. can add a uh, Cubs tax and then, and to then, this thing? Yeah. And then, and then uh, when they get gambling, which they're going to have in a few months, where's all that crap money? You're going to have to pay gone? a toll to get to the craps table for God's yeah, sake. Absolutely. Here's, here's 70 cents. Right, right. More corruption. Yeah. All right. Uh, Gene, do you know Jerry Foxhoven? I do not. Was he on Rock? <laughs> yeah, I played The Rock, actually, now. Uh, Jerry Foxhoven. Okay. The director of Iowa's Department of Human Services. Oh. Was told wait to resign. A second. Was told to resign for being an outspoken Tupac fan. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Is it true? Did you see this story? I did not. I'll tell you one story I saw. We have, I didn't know that someone asked me who are senators. We have two Republican senators, and our governor is a senator. Our governor is a Republican, but our governor is a woman. I didn't even know we had a woman governor. She's been governor. Gene, for you've a been out years. of the state for a long time, Gene. Might yeah, be but that's to go pretty back. cool. All right, no, I did not know that, but I, if I was there, I would have tried to put a stop to it. Foxhoven regularly. Wow. Th- 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 you, just, you got some good quotes here. Foxhoven regularly emailed employees inspirational Tupac quotes and right. images. The ex-government official and self-described 66-year-old white guy. Oh man, has, that's a bad. If you see a picture, like if you see a picture of this guy, he looks like any other white guy that works at a. Uh, yeah, company. that comment right there is just. Disturbing. The ex-government official and uh, self-described 60-year-old white guy has reportedly been a devotee of the lyrical luminary since the 90s. Mm. Man, whoever wrote that is a lyrical luminary. Right, right. Luminary. He hosted Tupac Fridays, mm. and turned the office into a listening lounge. On his birthday, staffers gifted him with baked goods decorated with the rapper's likeness and the names of his biggest hits. Was this guy 13 years old in middle school? Wow. Who just found a uh, Tupac mixtape? Hmm. On the second second, here we go. I got more, Gene. Oh, this, the story God. gets better and better. On the second, this guy loves Tupac, Gene. It's not just a yeah, uh, act. Yeah, I know. It's not I'm just an push. act to get right, with the kids. Right, right. On the second second anniversary of Shakur's death in Las Vegas drive-by shooting, Fox Hoven admitted to a staff member that he might seem a little down. <laughs> yeah. It, it hit us Gene, all pretty hard. Gene, who's your hero? Who's your hero as a kid? Uh, Billy Williams. Do you have any idea when that guy died? Any I, date? He, he's still alive. Uh, yeah. Billy D. Ernie, Williams? Ernie, no. Land, Ernie Lando Banks. Calrissian? He died, uh, right? Ernie Banks died. Oh. Okay, but I, yeah. Bill, I, didn't I, Billy D. Williams I, die destroying the Death Star? Hey, Billy D. Williams is in the next Star Wars movie, <laughs> or he's in the last one. I'll, but Gene, how did that phone call go? Hey, Billy D., do you want to be there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How much? Yes. Yeah. Fax the check over. Yes. Yeah. That that's the conversation that, that went is it. with his agent. Hmm. Uh, I don't even know. Geez. I'll say uh, he died twenty years ago. How long <laughs> same ago? with Tupac. He might have been in the same car with Tupac. Yeah. Or they happened. Tupac and Biggie Smalls. Like three weeks, both, right? Or a month? Yeah, they're pretty close. And they're both unsolved, and they're both gang-related. Some Imagine killing some guy because he's, he's a rapper. And, yeah. They're, they're singing. They're singing over songs. Yeah. Gene, can you imagine the Carpenters getting shot back in the 60s over uh, Monday, mm-hmm. Monday? <laughs> Is that the real close to you? What? Monday, Monday. Well, 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 like... Let's just say, Gene, when uh, Mama Cassidy, or what the fuck her name Mama is? Mama Cass. Mama Is Cass? Mama Cass? Yeah. Yeah. 
I, whenever she died, I'm going to be really down. Right, Hopefully, it doesn't right. land on a sports show date. Yeah. It was a lot of these guys, yeah, I'm right. I hope you all enjoy the day as well and take the time to enjoy one of his songs he wrote on that same day. Pay no mind to those who talk behind your back. It simply means that you are two steps ahead. Wow. The very next workday, Foxhoven was forced to resign. Hmm. Uh, Gene, I, you know, uh, instead of uh, firing this guy, I think you should make him employee of the year. I know. This is very disturbing because I love Iowa, my home So, state. Gene. Yeah, I can't defend Defend it. your state. I can't. I, we need less of that. We do so many great things. Iowa passed gay marriage before California. Uh, well, we do have two Republican senators. Yeah, how does that Republican work? Republican governor. Mm, we did vote. Because people like you Trump. got out of the state and didn't vote for the uh, right, Democrat. Right. Oh, I don't know. That's a bad one. And we don't have enough diversity probably in our state, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Okay. I, I mean, know. I, you know, that's. We have a lot cares? of bars. I don't know. Well, Jane, that only means that uh, poor people haven't realized you can move to Iowa for right. real cheap yet. Yeah. Well, that's the only difference. Right. Yeah. Right. Be- yeah. Once, once the the word's out. Also, Iowa is kind of centrally located, right? There's no uh, kind of big cities next to Iowa, right? No. Uh, Chicago I mean, doesn't have Chicago. Three hours right? away. I mean, yeah, yeah. There's no Milwaukee, nothing. right? Milwaukee's three hours away. I mean, yeah. You know, it's, uh, Iowa's like a hidden gem. No one knows about it. <laughs> that's right. If you build it, well, we did build it, and they came. Field and you it, left. Yeah, it's not Field of Dreams when you come in because they can't use that. It it says Welcome to Iowa, Fields of op- Fields of Opportunity, Fields of Dream, the Dreamer. They can't use Dream because it's copyright, but they say Field of Opportunities, Fields of REM Sleep. How about that? Yeah, that's fields not, of REM I, sleep. I'm ashamed on that one. Yeah, no good, oh, well. no good. I saw his last movie. Tupac made a movie right before he died. Poetic Justice with uh... no, he made a, a movie with Jim Belushi. Oh, didn't he? Uh, a cop movie. And the other guy, right? The guy from uh, Pulp Fiction, who's always in those uh, that squirrely uh, Tim Europe. Roth. Tim Roth. Yeah, there you go. Could be. Didn't he make yeah. one with Tim Roth? Yes, like grid- gridlocked. Right? I think that's what it's called. That gridlocked. Could be a, yeah. I believe so. Gene, you mm. didn't know anything about uh, that one movie. Rock. You didn't know about Rock. You didn't know about uh-uh. gridlocked. Yeah. I think you need some diversity in your life, Gene. Mm. Gene, you need to start hey, dating a black chick. I'm going to see. Oh, I, I have. Uh, well, I didn't, we didn't date, but I did have relations with a black gal. <laughs> I think. Well, you mean, you mean you asked her to move from the uh, bus <laughs> seat? Move over in the bus <laughs> no. seat? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, no. It's I gone, mean, Arcia. Get out. Oh, no, uh, it's not gone. Oh, yeah. Look like it was gone. Yeah, a couple of them. All right, so uh, that's it, Gene. That's the All show. All right, well, I guess we'll have to wear it, Iowa. Let's not do that. I think Let's we learned a lot. Why does Iowa always become worst state of the week, Gene? I, oh, it's it's I really understand. weird. That's bad. Tupac. Sorry about that, Tupac. You're welcome. <laughs> Tupac's spinning in his grave right now. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I bet he's never been to Iowa. I don't know if he, how much he <laughs> toured. Mm. Yeah, was he uh, Tupac in Sioux City Falls? <laughs> Or Sioux Falls City, or what yeah. is it called? Sioux Falls. Well, there's Sioux City, and I don't know. That's in Sioux City's up by uh, South Dakota, and I don't know Sioux Falls. Isn't is there a Sioux good? City in uh, Iowa? There yeah, is, right? Sioux City's uh, up okay. by South Dakota. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's another land we took from the uh, Native <laughs> from the Americans. I guess. Well, Gene, you had diversity. You just sent him away and killed yeah, him. That's right. That's it. So you're not welcome, man. Yeah, hey, Gene, how about this? We uh, get a little diverse and send these uh, illegal immigrants up to uh, Iowa. Oh, my gosh. To the uh, canning facilities. How about that? To the yeah, meat processing I'll plants. I'll point that. Yeah. <laughs> get them some jobs. Get them some jobs and some missing digits. Mm. Right? Yeah. Good work. Okay. All right. That's it. I think uh, it's hey, Enjoy hot. the summer, everybody. Yeah, it's pretty hot here. And uh, it was a heat wave, by the way, in this past week. In wow. Midwest, the Midwest. That, uh, that was brutal. Oh, well, just the Cubs, not watching them. But, man, that was hot. That's the thing about the Midwest or East Coast, too, is you, it's very cold. And then when it's hot, it can be dangerously hot. Just all that humidity. Wow. Really bad and we've stuff. had a great summer out here so far. But <laughs> not bad. All right. Our hot weather. All right. Yeah. So I don't think I'll be able to get the uh, thing going. Uh-huh. No, no more uh, animation. i got to re-upload the file. But. For I'm gonna get the music. I can do that. So oh, okay. For Gene Steichen. My name is Chris Dot. And it's been the Midwest Sports Show. See you guys next week. <laughs>